Do you have a peeve? Oh, yeah. Well, it's not a great peeve, but I, I was at the Guadalajara airport, and I'm the token honky. You know, I'm the guy like, oh, where do I go? I don't Decent speak airport? Spanish. Yeah, a little dingy. Do you go direct flight or do you have to connect? Connect in Dallas. Yeah, it's not that bad. Not too bad. Small plane, though, to Dallas? Yeah. Oh, yeah, and I was the gringo. And uh, no one no, no one goes to Guadalajara. People go to Mexico City. They go to uh, Cancun or whatever the hell, but Tijuana. Guadalajara was me, a cockfight, and uh, a lady making so you went, tortillas. You went there solo? Solo, just baby. Just for the gig. You just love Mexico right now. I like Mexico, and I've never been to Guadalajara, and we sold some tickets there, so fuck it. I love it. that. Um, so I'm... On the in the airport, I finally land. You know, it's like seven, eight hour travel day. You're a little wonky, and I'm going through customs, and you have to take your passport and scan it on this machine. And it kept saying, "No passport, no good, no good, red, red, red." So I go up to the guy and I go, "No worky, uh, bad news though, no bueno, <laughs> sucky, sucky, five dollar." <laughs> yeah, hello. So he was like. Scan, scan, scano, and I was like, I scanned, I scanned, but there's, you know, there's no, there's no language, there's a barrier. So I go, look, scan, scan. He goes, scan it, scan it. He keeps yelling at me, and I'm like, it's not working. And then eventually he takes it, and it doesn't work. And he goes, you got to go over there. And I'm like, why couldn't you just listen to me? But I guess they see so many idiots coming through there that don't know how to do it that he just assumed I was one. Yeah, but you're a traveled man. I'm a traveled man. I know how to work my my passport machine, but this guy was uh, not having any of it. And then eventually he tried it, and he was like, oh, sorry, go over there. But you, they got you after that? Got me in, yeah. I fucking hate that, though, when they act like you're an idiot. Yeah. I know. And I did get the uh, random check, which was felt very pointed. Oh, geez, with these eyebrows, it's never random. <laughs> uh, I hate it. I, every time. Yeah. By the way, I do Q&A at the end of shows. A lot of people go, Sam's eyebrows. Really? That's a big they're one. They're fucking big. I got, I got some fucking eyebrows. I don't dude. think they're that crazy. Really? They're pretty big. I guess they're long. Yeah, I just get, you know what I get is they don't even ask if I'm at the barber now. They don't even ask. I just go, I'm like, Jesus Christ. Uh, like, what do they do to your eyebrows? You just They just trim it a little oh, bit. on the top? Yeah. You oh. don't get that? I get no. that too with the comb. Yeah. They hit the comb on and then they oh. trim it. They used top. to at least ask. They don't ask. Oh. Like, that, that's, yeah. that could be a bad sign. <laughs> they're nice eyebrows. They're full. Yeah, they're, they're dark. Fine. You know what? When they do, uh, I don't know if you're at the age yet, but when they're like ear hair, it's like, that's a, just a yes. You yeah, you know the answer to this question. <laughs> no, I'm yeah. growing it out. Yeah. Yeah. I'm keeping it. I'm gonna yeah. braid it. <laughs> but yeah, Mexico. So I do a show in Guadalajara. Killer crowd. Great show. They get everything. You know, you can talk about Biden. You can talk about uh, Brad Pitt, Taylor Swift, whatever it is. They they is get it all locals of it. or expats. Both. A little yeah. of both. You get some people who are like, I want to learn, see if I can test my English. You know. Yeah. Um, and then I leave. I'm walking down the street, kind of half in the bag, just taking in Guadalajara, and uh, this guy runs up on me, white guy, and he goes, hey, 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 where you going? I go, I'm just walking around. He goes, I was at the show. You want to come to my bar and hang out? I was like, sure, I got nothing to do. So I go to this guy. This guy from San Francisco. It'd be great if you're just in like the bottom. It's like Pulp Fiction. <laughs> Gimp in there. You're like, oh, fuck. Yeah. He locks the door. Now you're mine. <laughs> I'm going to get medieval on his ass. <laughs> so I go to this guy's bar. Lived in Berkeley. Yeah. Got too weird during COVID. Said I'm moving to Guadalajara. Started his own business. Now he's like, I'm the king out here. I get laid all the time. I got my own bar, my own business. I'm a rich man. I'm never going back. How old is he? 25. Holy shit. Can you believe that? He's making money there? He's making a ton of money because wow. he owns a business. Oh right on the strip, too. I was like, how did you do this? He's like, I just was desperate. I figured it out. I put it together. Crazy. And he was cool? Cool dude. Uh, he uh, offered me some blow. And I was like, ah, I got to go. I got to go. And then I get home and I got like 9 million DMs. Like, you should have come out, man. Hey, it's pretty crazy out here. I'm at a nightclub right now with six girls. You should have come out. I was like, I did the right thing. Yeah. But nice you guy. Did. I hope he doesn't hear this. Yeah, whatever. What What were you drinking? Uh, I was out there. I had to do tequila. Yeah. Tequila's from Guadalajara. Mariachi's from Guadalajara. Mari wow. Guadalajara is like Mexico. It's like it's like if you, someone dropped you in Kentucky. And you're like, this is America. Wow. Trump flags and and uh, guns. That's what it felt like. It felt like Mexico. Damn. But great, great time. Cheap was, as shit. You're like damn. a king out there. I'm eating street tacos. I'm like, yeah, hey, give me another one there, Paco. I'm giving him, <laughs> giving him twos and threes. And he's like, whoa, Jesus. I gotta, I gotta do Mexico, man. It's fun. It's I'm it's going. got some grit. I wonder if I can move some tickets. I'm, I'm gonna give it a shot.